How's it going, everybody? It's Boy Pixelate Pat. It's my pleasure to welcome you back to another episode of our Pokemon Gaia Hardcore Nuzlocke. Today on the agenda, we'll be doing exactly what the title of the video says, and that's abandoning our starter. Just kidding. Obviously, that's a joke. We wouldn't do that in a million years, but we are leaving her out of today's episode, and that's because the leader of the Prestonmos Island Gym uses Psychic-type Pokemon. While Infernape does have access to great coverage moves like Thunder Punch and Shadow Claw, it just wasn't worth the risk of bringing her along to a gym where she's at a significant disadvantage. So this one's for you, Magna. That being said, I'm actually fine with the fact that we had to leave her behind for this one, and that's because it gives us more of an opportunity to show off some of the other amazing Pokemon we captured throughout the run. For starters, we have our newly evolved Roger the Braviary, who I thought was going to evolve at level 54, but it looks like the developer changed it to level 40, and I'm fine with that change because it gives us access to an incredibly powerful Pokemon that much earlier. Not only that, but we have our newly captured Parasect and our Nemesis River Encounter Nuzleaf along for the ride. I was super excited to see what these guys could do together because it's it seemed like we had the perfect team to take down with Psyche Gym. Although it really is a shame that we weren't able to find a Leaf Song prior to taking on this gym, I guess we'll just have to wait until after we get access to the Dive HM to have access to the Green Charm Move Tutor. Anyways, it would have been so incredibly OP to take on this gym with a Shiftery, but I'm fine with settling for Nuzleaf. After all, if there's anything I learned from the anime, it's that a Pokemon doesn't have to be fully evolved to kick butt. Although one thing's for sure, it definitely would have made some of the knockouts it was involved in a little bit quicker, but I digress. He could very well be the sleeper agent for the best grass type on, the, on our roster due to the awesome coverage moves he has access to like Faint Attack and Leaf Blade. That being said, there's a huge chance that Roger the Braviary just might be our candidate for our best flying type Pokemon. Well, that's definitely a tough call due to the fact we have a studded lineup of flying type Pokemon like Mega Altaria, Staraptor, Aerodactyl, Skarmory, and Fearow, Roger has a unique advantage between the coverage moves he has access to and the raw power he possesses. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Roger ends up as our best choice to take on the endgame with. However, before we can worry about the endgame, we gotta survive to that point, so for the meantime, let's just focus on the battles in front of us. And speaking of the battles in front of us, we actually have a pretty interesting character that we're facing today. I was surprised to see that the leader of the Prestonmos Island Gym was none other than Will, formerly of the Cancel Elite Four, and the first member of the Pokemon League you face in Gold, Silver, and Crystal versions. The fact that they were already getting into Pokemon League level battling this early in the run made me nervous, so without further ado, let's get this exciting battle underway. Now, cue the OST. So starting off going into the battle, my strategy was really simple, hit his Pokemon really, really hard. While I've opted to go a more strategic route in previous battles by setting up hazards, I knew that wasn't going to be an option here due to the fact that taking the time to set up hazards would have given him the time he needs to set up calm mines, which would have spelled doom for me. However, there wasn't a chance in hell I was going to let that happen, which is why I led with Braviary so I could use Shadow Claw to send his Pokemon to the Shadow Realm. Luckily, he has just enough power to stop any of these Pokemon from being a threat and were able to take out four of his Pokemon with ease. And here's where the battle stops being easy. I switched out from Braviary right away since I didn't know whether or not this Slowbro had Ice Beam and I wasn't going to take that risk, forcing Parasite to take a Psychic to the face upon switching in. Luckily it survived so we were able to outspeed and land a Spore the next turn which gave us a chance to safely switch into Venusaur. However, this does not happen as Slowbro wakes up right away and hits us with a very powerful Psychic that easily could have spelled Doom for Venusaur. And here's where I make the unfortunate decision to sacrifice our newly caught Parasect so that way I can get a free switch into Nuzleaf to become the hero of the battle she was always meant to be. It was unfortunate that I had to sacrifice Parasect, but it was the only way I saw to get through the battle. We had a little bit of back and forth there between Slack Off and Leaf Blade, but my unevolved Nuzleaf is able to push through and defeat a Mega Pokemon all by herself. You go, girl! And while it's unfortunate that we weren't able to get through the gym without making a sacrifice that I probably could have avoided if I wasn't scared of an Ice Beam that wasn't there, I definitely wasn't expecting Nuzleaf to be the hero of the battle and I am very impressed with her performance. That being said, we are fast approaching the end of the video, so as always, I want to take a moment to thank all of you absolute legends who have been taking the time out of your day to check out the videos and support the channel. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. Anyways, that's all I got for you today and I'll see you in the next one. This is Pixelade Pat, signing off.